イドウェルター級グランプリ第2試合を行います And now, the second Pride Welterweight Grand Prix Match! Aokona 選手の入場です In the Black Banner! From the USA, the Prodigy B. In the red corner, from Denmark, Martin Hoffman. No grab rope, okay? Strong on his fight, okay? Sink, okay? Sink on. Touch, touch, touch. Ready? Hello, everybody. My name fight. is Boss Rudin. I'm sitting here with the fight professor, yeah, Stephen Quadros. And welcome to Pride Fighting Championships. These two are competing for a spot in the Grand Prix semifinals. What do you think the best strategy is in a tournament like this, Bosch? Well, if it was me, I'd come out super aggressive. I mean, you get an early finish, and you're in the semifinals with no damage. That connected. There's a big right. In the clinch. And he avoids the takedown with a sprawl. Turtle up, and he goes for the over-under. There's the open guard. Look at that, he used that momentum to reverse his opponent. Even worse now, mount position. Yep. Nice, oh, nice. he reversed it. Nice. Uh-oh, someone's cut. I saw some blood there. Oh, I like that. That was beautiful. Nice reversal. Oh, big left hand. And there's the half guard. Goes for a full mount here. And he's going back to a half guard. Is he trying to get up there? Yeah. He's using the ropes. Look at him. He's using the ropes to get up. From the half guard going into the full mount. Oh! But then he gets reversed right into side control. Oh, great punch. Mount of position. And he's got him in half guard once. And he's got mount again. And he brings his head and his body up. Oh, big left hand. Looks to me like he recovered. Wow. Recovered quickly. There's the half guard again. And he's in guard again. Once again into side control. He steps right over into the mount once again. Back into half guard. And he loves that mount. And he's going back to a half guard. Open guard again. And the pushback, very wary of getting hit, but he stands up on his own. The ropes are actually helping him keep upright. Left 
let him miss, that right away comes back. Man, he's in great shape because that punch landed hard. We got a lot of time. Ooh, nice hook there. Caught him. A lot of great pummeling there, working to try and get that uh, underhook position. That clinch has forced him up against the ropes. Oh, beautiful time take down here. No good again, something. No good again, something. Three minutes left in the round. They're definitely working the clinch here. Ouch! Big uppercut. Great counter punch. That was a hard shot. Straight to the body. Oh, 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 what a punch! Oh man, right on the button, and he goes down. How he survived that, I'll never know. Ay, 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 ay. Triangle choke is in effect! He's on the verge of escaping. Nope. And he escapes. It wasn't close. Oh, man, he caught him with a good knee. One minute left in the round. And open guard. Posture's up. And he drags him to the floor. Head control, take it back. Yes. Ten second warning. Through half guard, through half guard. And that's the so end of round number one. And I don't think anyone has any doubts who came out on top in that round. It's the mixed martial artist versus the human punching bag, ladies and gentlemen. Five minutes of hell, tighten your punches up. The uppercut is there all day, but you gotta bring something behind it. You gotta bring... You gotta punish your man. All right, go to the body and press him back. Three. You want this fight? You gonna win this round? You got to win this round. You win this round, you got to fight. Okay, go on there and beat his ass. Get up, get up. And let's look at some of the action. And here we go, round number two. Chopping right hand. Oh, good left hand. Left uppercut finds his mark. Oh, here we go. What a shot, and he's down. Vicious ground and pound victory! Wow! BJ Penn ends this in convincing fashion! I just wanted to say there is no way that he can recover from this! He smelled blood and put on the pressure and ended this with a beautiful flurry of punches. Once again, we see that the referee did the right thing by stopping this one.